what's up everyone it's Ambors new video my smurf nose full of allergy and this video which I will dedicate to Eurovision pre-party in Madrid all the acts which were performing there from Eurovision 2024 and my opinions about if they need to improve or what or how was the atmosphere about that whatever actually I will just tell you what I think about each and single one of them let's talk Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm very glad you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to share the video, don't forget to ring the notification bell not to miss any of my future videos, watch my previous videos, ah, 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 I cannot breathe, buy me a coffee, give me a super like if you want to support this channel and also I would be glad for any kind of comments in the comments below and that's it, let's start talking about the songs. I will just adjust this camera because I think I'm just doing all the time this, but I want to look at you like this. Perfect. Perfection. Perfection. Alright, I made a list. I've made a list of each of them. I watched them also, of course, take it with the reserve, right? I watched it on the Weavy Block channels. This is one camera angle, one sound output, of course. That means that the conditions for every single artist, from my perspective, is fair. Also, from my, let's say, professional point of view, I can tell you that you can clearly hear who's like the professional, professional, professional artist and who's not there yet or something like this, like, it's clear, you know? But first note I want to say is that no one really underperformed or no, no one really, just one artist, but no one really, like, went down i think everybody kind of improved or were at the same good level already like there was nobody i would say like oh my god this is like this is really bad you know and sometimes we got this from pre-parties and i definitely would listen to such feedback but no one was really like on this side i would say like ah this will really do bad i didn't have this feeling at, at all and I think every single artist, every single country has the representative doing something better. Of course, some countries, they are brilliant. They cannot, they doesn't need to improve. Basically, whatever, and I'm very curious how they will even adjust such performance on stage. And some countries need to work much harder to have chance. Of course, you can watch my previous videos about data analysis, which country really stands a chance because of diaspora voting, neighbor voting, this, the point spread. Some countries just have this in the system automatically harder than the other ones. And if they don't bring even the song, which is perfect, they have it even much, much more harder than the average songs, but with the neighbor voting. But this is for different discussion. Let's talk about those countries. I will first talk about the ones which we never heard live or we heard live, but it was just horrible, right? So more like the revamp song like from Czechia or from Malta, it, which wasn't terrible actually. Basically, I did more notes for some countries and less notes for other countries. And live will just randomly talk, find them when I'm talking during this all podcast video and let's do this. So first country I want to talk about is Czechia. Let's take it out of it. It's not comfortable for me to talk about my own country that much. Of course, I'm too, still too connected to it. Even though I want to be fair, I'm talking about other country and we all know that the first live performance in ESCZ was just, it just wasn't really good. It, it really wasn't good. And I was waiting if I can feel the improvement. And I would say like, yes, it was okay. Like it was definitely okay. Even the performance, it's dynamic somehow. It's not choreographed by Ico there on the in Madrid, but it, still needs a huge improvement not because this it, this would be a disaster no i think it's really okay like like you can tell this is absolutely okay but if you compare it to the artist for which them the singing is smoothless this is not even close it's still not there and i think this those preparties are perfect in the way that artists really had a perfect feedback they can really if they are honest to each other, they can really see like, oh my God, this is where I belong, but this is where I can be. This is very important for them to to have this competition because, for example, you cannot really have such have such a real thing in our own country where everybody is avoiding competition, you know. So this is important. After all, it can really help. So this is what I wrote about Czechia. Need to improve vocally. Also feels very long. Yes, the song feels really long. I don't know, like I felt like I know it's from one camera but it somehow couldn't drag me 
this is this is one thing and they will need to really work solidly with the editing and light tempo yes to to really give this song a tempo it must be very but very very dynamic i think they're counting with this but if i compare it to some other songs in here in madrid i had it from one camera angle they didn't have this problem so there is something wrong and it's not just singing it's something and i think the song just is not that strong and it's too long three minutes are too long so it must be dynamized crazily much next country i have on my list is poland and i brought in here neat to improve vocally also the same issue with czechia yes it feels long it feels less dynamic of course it's static but also i think the singing and the singing charisma wasn't really there at all and i'm very curious how poland will do work with this song especially because it's a very kind of dancey song it's a dancey song and if the artist will be static everything else must dance and i'm very curious if they will be able to do it because for me luna doesn't feel like a dancer so where this song belong, it's the dance song. Like for me, this is in the rank of dance song. It's up tempo song with the static singer. That that doesn't really feels correct. That this is just the notes I wrote in here. And this is also you know don't compare it to the final outcome, please. Like this is my feelings now. It's a kind of a feedback. You can agree or not. Whenever write me in the comments below, right? If you understand me, I feel like I'm a French now. Like like this is how French speak, right? Like I think in Scotland I can go for jail. And for this already austria lots of notes i wrote in for austria i wrote okay vocally which i think it's absolutely okay don't work at me the song at all no it doesn't it doesn't work at me as a classical song eurovision or concert wise it feels and i wrote it in here it feels like i'm in the club i'm on the dance party there is a DJ behind and sometimes sings, the DJ sings into the microphone and then some dancers on the stage. This is how it feels to me. It doesn't really feel like a competing song at some point. And Kalim can really move. Uh, I think the singing is really okay. Like there's, I read on Twitter, people were complaining. I think those are the haters and, or, or some other people are extreme on the other side. I don't really care. I don't have like a favorite, favorite song of Eurovision in the way that I'm just cannot change my opinion about it but this didn't work for me as a competition song at some point it just felt like party which maybe it, this is the thing what they wanted to do we will rave but it somehow feels <laughs> inappropriate there's basically no singing kind of as a feeling you know i wrote yes not a concert song it's ibiza song dominant par is choreography not singing it's an opposite to sweden which really work as a song and yes, this is when I will get there, but very briefly, Marcus and Martinus, it really works as a song even from one camera. Maybe because there are two, maybe because there is a lot of singing, maybe because it's not it's not about choreography, especially for such pre-party, it's more about the the whole song. That's the big difference and I think you can compare those two songs somehow, somehow at some point. Even we will write this like a dancey Ibiza song, unforgettable it's clubbish but it's not there you know so but this is what i brought in here then i had switzerland and oh my god i brought only that the that i'm sure that the only code switzerland and animo broke it's the dress code because this is the only annoying thing for me on this performance that i don't like nemo's fashion style i just don't like this four-year-old dress it feels it drags me out it's switching me off it feels inappropriate for the moment when I focus, start focusing on the artist themselves. And that's brilliant. There is nothing to say. It, it, it's a pure perfection. The singing is perfect. The rap part is brilliant. The energy of Nemo is amazing. Like the way how Nemo is jumping on the stage, going crazy, high notes, this opera, clean charisma of the vocals, this imprint you know it's all screams a star and this is for me like this works you know you can have it from one camera you see it and you just take your head down and this is switzerland like for me more and more i believe nemo can win like switzerland serves quality songs past five six years for sure constantly even you would say like it's a ripoff of arcade it's a ripoff of ripoff of arcade and so on and so on this is something different and it feels different and i think this this is competing for winning eurovision period belgium i had also high expectations for belgium but i never heard musti before singing and this was the first time and i think he, he succeed i wrote that sometimes feels he cannot sing the lows 
I think at some points, but you forget about it and then his energy and the way how he how he works somehow Freddie Mercury ish. I, I know you cannot you cannot compare. Like sorry, you cannot compare those two, but the energy is there, the performance is there, the, the temperament is there, and the song works, even there are simple lyrics lyrics and he jumps all over. I'm like, come on, this is good. This is really, really good and even those little lows are not there all the time. In my opinion, I have such a crazy ear for such things, but not everybody does. And this is not really important because he sells the performance, in my opinion. This is where I like. I liked it. I enjoyed watching it from one camera angle, listening to it. And also the reaction from the crowd on him. That This was good. Really, really brilliant. UK. I think that there is a problem with the UK one, one thing. I love Oli Alexander as a performer. I saw all his life, like not probably all, but lots of live performances of his. He has a brilliant charisma. Camera loves him. The only issue I think he has with this Eurovision is the song. Because then you can clearly say it when he plays, when he sings the, the King from years and years, which is just a brilliant song. It's the, you know, top level top British level of music and then Dizzy which is repetitive and I couldn't like I watched it it's very static performance at some point which is a little bit pity because I would ex like I would expect some you know more craziness there but of course this is uh, up to the artist but this is what I felt and the song it's very like it gives me nothing even life I cannot I cannot feel it I cannot feel it and I brought yes okay but it feels extremely repetitive especially when the when he sung also king from years and years it's a huge difference it is a huge difference Armenia I brought pure energy takes me musically decades back but it simply works yes owns the stage like Jaco she really owns the stage it it works and I just get to this like I know I will repeat myself from my from my reaction but it's for me like a Greece Greek party opening and you just have fun because I also wrote, still got me, there are almost no lyrics. Yes, this is like, there are few lyrics, I don't, cannot repeat, but the half of the song is la 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 la. Which is incredible, where Eurovision gets, when this is enough, but this is reality. And I don't hate it in the way, I'm just saying like, this is at some point laughable. But on the other hand, you know, it, this works. It works, and I have nothing against this, melodically it works. She can sing all the odos, la la la. It's a performance song in the way of the stage presence. This is simply as that. And I enjoyed it. I must say I enjoyed it. Like, I, I, I kind of watched it all. I watched it all because I was fascinated by it. Again, like the music video. Albania. A lot of in here. I kind of like the revamp. Only what I don't like on the revamp is this last part when they for some reason added also disco. Like every song, I, song now must have three different styles of music sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work but this is probably the trend like put all the things to something but in my opinion it doesn't really fits Vesa somehow it feels now it feels like a construct especially when I saw it live because I don't know if there was a problem is that there is a singing problem but I wrote needs to improve especially with back vocals blending because whenever she sings with black vocals it's it's not connected to each other which others didn't have a problem with at all so it's a problem in here in, with the song. Also, she needs to choose a tone in which she will be singing because I had the feeling that she's switching the tones. It's not wasn't the tonality like she doesn't know in which highs or lows she should sing. That was very it was dragging me out all the time. And it doesn't feel stable. Like it's not off. It's not false. But it goes like once I'm singing like this, once I'm singing like this. But it's not a flowish perfection. It doesn't work. And this if, if Albania wants to go through. Of course, they need a lot of diaspora and everything, but also they need those two points, one points, three points from everybody. And for this, they like she needs Bessa, she needs to sing perfectly. This must be perfect. They are in the position number two, the, the worst position. It must be perfect. Like if they want to succeed, like zero ego and 100 improved performance by the singer. This is there is no way around. She will need to be more dynamic. This did not really work. Croatia, it's still a little bit of mystery how perfectly it works but when i saw this performance i said like yes like really yes there is something amazingly special and there is like when he said like like they repeat this who the whole like this response the song is so simple it's kind of 
And I don't want to now be harsh or whatever. It, I mean it in a good way. It's kind of like stupid, the song, in the way that everybody will jump on its train. It's so easy to get to the song. We all know it from our country, but somehow Marco Baby Lasagna makes this song be universal for whole Europe. I think this is brilliant. This is a genius thing because if it's maybe sung in Croatian, maybe if it's sung some so such a song in Czech, we will be all laughing at it. But somehow he he made it also with this dance, which I think after all it's not that important, but it works. He made it as a anthem somehow. I don't know, but it really works. Also I wrote this just works and just has a tempo. Does not feel three minutes at all even from one camera angle and that's true i was mesmerized i watched it it end up and i was like wow i enjoyed the performance even from this one camera angle completely so if they will dynamize if they will do it crazily good visually outstanding i think he can really compete still for winning like it's not a song for me it's not a song i would probably vote for at least for those first places definitely not as a juror i, I can say this but even if i'm a juror i would probably think about to, to maybe give it some points because this is also a talent to to work this way with the crowd and the singing you know the singing is okay the song it's placed here it's this kind of thing or be given the juror points it's not just all about perfect singing you know this is not everything like there is something magical about him and the song i cannot describe it but it is for sure 100 island island for me this is the biggest disappointment honestly the biggest disappointment for the concert because it's not stable i wrote yelling part or simply just yelling zero melodics whenever she goes uh, to to the to the switch mode it's not singing it's screaming but it's not screaming melodical it's not it's really like i don't know like the the melodical part the the the, the low tempo part da, 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 da. this is just okay she can do this brilliantly it works but whenever she switched the character to this witch and like blah, blah, it's literally like dude this it nothing has to do with music singing nothing this is maybe what annoys me maybe you like it but from the perspective of singing also this can be done singing wise melodical this was not there it was completely false all the time it just felt very very wrong and doesn't matter what i think about the song this is this is irrelevant the all the whole performance was like uh -uh. there must be a massive improvement honestly because in my opinion this will like definitely in the combination at eurovision this will not work at all and they would risk that that maybe Ireland can be again one of the last places unnecessarily there is still time to improve this maybe to switch to those yell parts better help of the back vocals better I don't know but not this Malta this is for me on the other hand the biggest biggest improver like I love it I normally loved it because the way how she sings during dancing crazily all the time crazily brilliantly it's smoothless this is like smoothness, like Sarah Bonici, it's amazing talent. You can think anything about the song. It's not my favorite genre, it's not my favorite song at all, but I love it. I really loved it, the effort, the performance, it works. I like the effort what they've did, done or did, what they've done for the crowd with all the moves and everything. It just wasn't static and I was watching and I was like, yes, this, even I heard it million times, okay, whatever i take it i heard million times uh unicorn i also heard like all those ripoffs from fuego basically and it just works it works let's do this give me this energy i still not sure if malta can do it because of the combination of countries in their semi-finals and i believe that the disadvantage of the pu public vote only it's just placed against countries like malta but if there are juries i believe she's going through for sure because this like on pre-party one camera dancing worked perfectly brilliantly i have like this is for me the biggest up and then i brought oh my god i cannot even talk but then i talk another country serbia okay but i'm cu curious about how they will present it uh because it feels very like it's so low tempo and it has so such a slow development that they really need to work out the way how they will present it live because they need to dynamize it they need to much more dynamize it not to especially when they are on the second position and they need a lot of help of diaspora voting and neighbor voting 
but also they need the votes from the other countries. This song has this disadvantage of being specifically, not everybody will got the message yet, so the message is not that important because it won't get to people. The, the singing is perfect, everything is perfect about it, but the tempo, it's it's very here. It needs to give me some energy, some boost or something. This wouldn't be enough, but it was okay. Sweden, I wrote really good. That really works even like this. Like it really works, really. Like wow, like I, in my opinion, I, I was wow. I was watching as like wow, okay. That doesn't need this crazy staging to work. It's really working. Ukraine, I wrote perfect. Iceland, I wrote okay. There will be more countries on this list which already had live performance, so they are already on this level. So Serbia okay, Sweden okay, Ukraine okay, Iceland okay, Spain I wrote a note, still the same staging idea with the strip guy. I'm very curious if this is the tour thing or if they will repeat it only also at Eurovision, which they can do it, in my opinion this is whatever. They create a joke out of the song with this. Italy, brilliant singing, like when you, like I'm not the big fan of the song i think i would say even less and less even i, I respect it i liked it it's good and i think it will work for a big stage like her singing and her stage charisma is just perfect this is this is a talent from god like what she sings this song and it's it feels like no effort you know this is this is amazing to to see portugal works amazingly even it was static and one camera like this was for me the big surprise that it really works still statically it's just great it's, she's great like Yolanda, the song, it just works. Denmark, I wrote okay. Latvia, just simply really good, brilliant singing. Moldova, also another surprise. Smoothly singing, and I wrote it's very underrated. In my opinion, it's very underrated. Let's see how this will work on a big stage, but she, her, she can sing, she can do it perfectly. This is just good. Slovenia, oh, this is singing wise perfect i now have even less like it really works from one camera there was this dancer behind that was also really good i i liked it san marino i liked it because it's a rock they brought a rock energy and rockish it was with all like it re this was the only song which really felt like a concert 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 you know <laughs> like this was really good and for finland i wrote Finland is Finland, like this. Finland is Finland. And that's it. I think one one more thing that, that that's very important to have those pre-parties, especially for the artist, to find what they can improve, to find themselves in the community of other artists, maybe also in community of Eurovision, because it's very specific. For some of them, they are the first bigger concert or kind of a tour. I think to feel comfortable at Eurovision, to know the other artists, it's very important. Also, the contacts you can just have during this, they are perfect and you know unpayable and the experience worth it i think this is the eurovision experience which we need to keep which makes sense but also what i would recommend to all the artists or their managements don't focus only on the bubble the bubble it's not that big as it seems and it's already predecided somehow very important is to find people outside the bubble to also vote for you because the eurovision is huge and to underestimate those groups it's a big mistake in my opinion or it's a big chance to fight for those votes because most of the country needs to go just simply from the public voting and they need to receive as much as possible to get through and the bubble it's not the only it's only it's not the only bubble which is voting but that's it those were my opinions write me in the comments below what do you think sorry for my talking but i cannot i cannot talk properly and that's it subscribe to the channel like the video share the video buy me a coffee or give me a super like comments in the comment below what below below watch my other videos previous videos i have plenty very interesting topics after all really check it like what i think about the public voting and also about i did these calculations where the points can go based on data which is crazy it's crazy if it's going to be true i'm 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 if it's going to be really true i'm ending with eurovision like that makes no sense then to to watch it and that's it i hope you enjoyed and see you next time thank you for watching bye